Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how to create table of contents in Microsoft Word application. So let's get started. For creating a table of contents, you have to go to references tab where you will find table of contents group. So for, for the table of contents, you know that um, in this particular feature, all the headings of different par paragraphs comes in. And table of contents is look like the, the main headings and their page number so that you can easily navigate throughout that particular document easily with very less time. So let's let me add some, some of the headings. For example, introduction, then summary, and one more heading, conclusion. So, so for the sake of this recording this video, I have just um, added some three random uh, headings in my this document: introduction, summary, and conclusion. Right now, uh, also remember that uh, table of contents does not comes uh, with the continuation of your uh, other text of this document. Uh, you will make on, on a real time basis. You will make table of contents on a separate page. All right. Uh, don't continue with the uh, existing text but for this video for a short time i am uh, just uh, giving you a demonstration that how to create a table of contents actually so if if you see that we have three headings in our this particular document and uh, if i go to table of contents so the menu will open and i can select any kind of template which i want or I can go to custom table of contents where I can uh, check each of the feature which I want or I do not want. I can check or uncheck and I will press OK. So as soon as I press OK, uh, you can see that uh, it says that no table of content entry is found because remember that you know that you have the headings in your document and you want them to come in the table of contents. But the first initial step is you have to convert your heading into a style okay so for that you have to select that particular heading go to the home tab and in the styles group click on heading one okay then again select the other heading you want to be add in the table of contents uh, go to the home tab in the styles group click heading one again okay so there are also different levels in the table of contents as well. Uh, if you have seen in some of the books that there, there is main heading and there are then subheadings. So it's, it's just like heading one, then heading 1.1 and then 1.1.1. So there are maximum of nine levels available in the table of contents. But for now we are making level one as we have converted all the headings as a style of heading one. Okay. All right. So let me again create a table of content. So I will go to references tab and I will click on table of contents. So now you can see that a heading of contents is added and there are three headings now included in your table of contents introduction, summary and conclusion. And these all are on page number one, right? So now for later on, uh, if if let's say it, the conclusion goes to the other page right or the conclusion goes to the other page and instead of summary we are writing executive summary now the table of content is not live which which will change on on a blink of an eye what you have to do is you have to update the table of contents so as you can see that the summary is is being added some more new words it's still on page one but it has it has been renamed so the second heading has been renamed and the third heading of conclusion goes to the next page so now when i click on table of contents area you will find update table option here if you don't find update table option here uh, you can go to the references tab and you can just click on update table which is available option in this particular group or you can just right click and from this contextual menu you have also an option of update field so there are three different ways to do uh, a thing which is the updating table of contents so when i click on tape update table so there there is a window comes 
and we have we have to pick any one option out of these two the first option is update page numbers only when you observe that there is no change in the heading words but they are on a different page now and you just need to update the page number so you will go with the first option but if you are confident that your headings has been renamed and they are also on a different pages so the best option is update the entire table option right so click on it and press ok so now you can see that uh, executive summary has been written here and the conclusion is now on page 2 right so this is a primary way of adding table of contents in your document thank you